Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful nail designs with some neon pigments again. Uh, it is a time for like an uh, colorful and brightful uh, designs and I hope you really enjoy watching uh, this tutorial. But how do we preview exactly what we are going to do today? Yeah, absolutely colorful set and I hope you really enjoy watching it. Let's start! We are going to play with the beautiful designs and I love the pigments the most on the black so we are going to use 183 which is a black ink and I will just paint a couple tips uh, in this color I love this black by the way like it's amazing it has such shows great coverage um, and it speeds up my work in the salon as well like when I can just apply it to one coat I was feeling it was feeling actually strange guys to uh, to have one coat black uh, because it is really unusual to find uh, black which uh, which gives such as great coverage uh, but I, I do it it over the one coat on the clients as well and it's such a uh, time saver So I'm making sure uh, I work through the product like so it's not uh, having a thick uh, places. And then give it a cure. Uh, the black, whites, reds, like in general, I like to cure it 60 seconds, the gel polishes. Uh, and then we are going to apply the top coat over it. So this one was cured only 40 seconds maybe. But for the clients, I always cure 60 seconds. Apply the top coat and then give it a cure. Okay, so that's our background uh, ready for the beautiful designs. And I think we'll start with the butterfly. Uh, butterflies are so amazing for this time of the year and I think it was really nice design so I'm going to um, grab the buffer and then buff the first tip which is ready the reason why I'm buffing is first of all I've got a really nice surface to paint and then the gel is going to stick into the rough surface because uh, the gel likes uh, to stick into either a sticky uh, layer that's why the gel pulp gels got inhibition layer uh, or to the rough surface then clean it well I've got actually some more ready just to save you a time of watching me buffing and painting and then buff the second one and I'm using the um, gray buffer which is a hundred by 180 uh, great. Uh, I love it for the designs because you can see it guys it does buff with uh, very little scratches and um, when we're painting the design sometimes if we want it to be really precise you don't want too big scratches because then the paint can get stuck into the scratches and and destroy your line. Uh, we are going to use the gel art white French. Get it on our mixing palette. 
just pick up a small scoop of the product and the gel lasts you ages like I use it for the French for baby boomer for 3d designs actually for everything I think I cannot live without of this product um, because the possibilities are absolutely endless okay so my uh, my tip is ready and we are going to start with some cute butterflies so we want to paint the head of the butterfly which is going to be rounded shape and then the body of the butterfly and then some wings I don't want to make them too large because I want to squeeze in few butterflies so just paint them kind of nice and small. Inside the wing I want some veins. And if you want to be able to paint a nice and thin line, I'm kind of dragging the product when I'm picking up the paint. And then the veins. Antennas. So blob and then thin. Blob and thin. The next butterfly is going to fly into the opposite side. Uh, I show you another way how you can paint it. It will be probably much easier. So you want to paint like a V-shape and then just wavy line. Okay, once you've got that, you can perfect the shape. And then do the veins. Add one more on the top. And then the one on the bottom. And some veins. We antenna. And then here we will paint another butterfly. In slightly different so this one uh, this one the wings are twisting this way with a tiny wee swirl I 
I could start feeling uh, that my brush didn't behave nice and I have just removed the excess of the product because it was too high on my brush so it didn't allow me to paint nice so sometimes like when you have done some parts of the design and you start feeling your brush doesn't behave just wipe the excess of it and then some moist will here I have removed the paint completely from my brush so I can have control over it okay some veins And we antennas. I also want to do some couple of the dots. Just to fill up the design. That actually looks already very cute. Uh, so I'm going to give it a cure, 60 seconds cure. And then here we are going to paint another design. I want to go wavy. And then we are going to paint some lace. You don't want it to be too thin. Because for the pigments, the more white we've got, the more colorful design becomes. You can see it how I'm picking up the product is like I'm kind of dragging my brush into the paint. Then the dotting tool. And we are going to give it a couple dots to it. in the each place where the wave sticks out I'm just painting those three wheel lines with some dots So this way we have painted some lace. Give it a cure. Then on this one, we are going to paint so geometric design. So I have just placed some dot.
color that in. And when painting those kind of geometric designs, you want to do one part at a time and then you can decide what else you want to add through it. So another dot. And then drag it to the one side and then to the other side. Okay, we're also going to paint like a teardrop shape here. So blob of the product and then drag it. Blob, drag it, blob, drag it. To be able to do the blob, I'm picking up the paint like the on my brush uh, in a blob shape. So I'm kind of, instead of um, like, if I want the line thin, I'm going like this. If I want the blob, I'm going to pick up the blob. Okay, so I've got blob now. Blob and then drag it. Blob, drag. Blob, drag. Dotting tool. And when you're doing it like uh, one part at a time, it is much easier to create those kind of designs. Okay, now I'm going to paint some rounded shape. And I'm dragging my product now uh, so I can pick up nice and thin lines. Okay, so drag when you pick up. And then give it a cure. Okay, my butterflies are completely nicely cooked. Uh, so let's start putting some color over them. And I'm going to use yellow first. I'm cleaning my pigment brush really well and then picking up some yellow. So I want some part to be yellow here and there and maybe a little bit on this side. I want this to be yellow and then I want this side to be yellow. So any parts I want yellow, I just color in yellow. I'm going to straight away do it here as well. And I'm coloring them in in yellow. Same in there. clean my brush. The next pigment I'm going to use is uh, orange. You can also blend it a little bit.
and then some orange on the butterflies. So I want the orange to go close to the yellow. Clean it. And let's go and do some pink. Guys, this is so much fun, like coloring it with the pigments. Okay, so I want here pink. I want some of this to be pink as well. Okay, so that's all the parts I wanted, pink and the butterfly, and then pink going on in there. So I'm going a little bit of the, uh, on top of the orange, and then pure pink. Okay, same, here I want pure pink, and then here I'm going to go a little bit over orange. Then we're going for a purple. So going with the purple over the pink. This one is actually finished, so let me clean it. And you can see it, how beautiful it looks over, over black, uh, especially once we put the top coat uh, at the end of it. Now I want some purple here. I'm very careful when I'm doing the purple because it's really uh, pigmented, so very careful. And then some purple here. Blue. I have removed the excess of the blue because I want only a tiny bit of it, of it. Okay, so that's the blue. And then blue going on in here. Fade it into purple. This one is completely finished. You have to clean it quite a few times with the dust brush to make sure you have no pigment left on your black. And the last color on the butterflies, because they are so pretty, is the green. After using the blue, I'm going to clean my brush really well. So clean it once and then clean it. Pick up the green. I'm even going to brush away some excess of the pigment and then start rubbing the green. Clean it. Again, you have to clean it really, really well to remove the pigment from all the single places. And I cannot wait actually to put the top coat over this one and then we'll move on into two other designs. So I'm applying the top coat. And look at this, guys. Wow, it's so pretty. It's amazing. It reminds me, in school, we used to do it like uh, scratching design. <gasps> oh my goodness, I need to try that, if that's what work on the nails. Um, we used to paint some colorful uh, colors uh, with the candle uh, and then we were scratching off uh, the stuff and it was revealing the beautiful design. So yeah, that's what reminds me of. Uh, I wonder if you guys have done this um, type of thing in school. That should look really nice and pretty over the black, so... Amazing. 
Okay, so just apply the top coat over it. In general, I think like uh, the pigments in black is just amazing. This is super cool design as well, like perfect for a summer. And you can do it on different color as well. Um, I actually wonder how it will look over the cat eye, like really dark cat eye. I think it should look super cool too. I actually might give it a try to check how it will look on the cat eye. <laughs> okay, give it a kick to this design. And then we can just move these bits and pieces on the side. Let's move this mess. <laughs> And move and get in another designs. Okay, I have make a really big mess. So that's my uh, that's my design is going to go to the bin, uh, that the display case. Unless I can clean it, I actually need to think of something uh, to to put over it because it just doesn't look nice. And I cannot find them. I promise, guys. If I find them, uh, we will stock them on the website as well. Uh, okay, but let's move on into the next design. So just clean it well and on the next one what we can paint on the next one. Okay so I'm just picking up the French paint and I have no clue. Oh my goodness what to paint, what to paint, some flowers. Flowers always looks good. some petals I'm making them kind of very irregular petals Okay, another one. A bit of bath. Vein. And another vein. And vein, vein, vein. So the leaves we wanted with the veins as well, just to keep everything same. Another flower. This one is actually quite cute flowers. I want the petals to be very irregular. And the last one. Then some veins. leaf okay 
that's definitely looks so pretty here we are going to paint just uh, two three petals on its own so it's a flower petals which are in this like not full flower And the next one here. Okay, the last leaf in here. That's a super cool actually. One more, one more tiny relief. <laughs> and then give it a kick. Okay, now we are going to paint the last one. So I'm going to do kind of like a, I don't know, leaves, flowers, clean my brush. I want to pick up the product in a blob. It almost looks like a wee shell. Or a wave. Same on the other side. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting like a wee half a moon shapes or letter C. And that's always gives amazing look. And the next one is just going to go opposite side. Clean the brush. Okay, again, pick up the blob. And this way we have created those kind of abstract design. Give it a cure. Now the butterflies are ready and the other things are ready. So let me place them here. And then we can color in the last two designs. I love this one actually. It's quite nice. This one too. I think the possibilities with the uh, with these designs are endless. Okay, I don't like this one, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to scratch it. and top coat it again. Oh, awesome. 
I think I done it for a reason. So you can see it, I have buffed it and I have over buffed it, making a mistake uh, on my tape um, during the buffing because I had a wee hole from the top coat. So to fix that, you want to take your top coat and the color of the pigment you have used in there. So I just clean my brush and then pick up, it was pink and purple. Mix it with your top coat and then color that in. Okay, then the purple. Color that in. See, I love when the things happen because then you know guys how to fix it, okay? So if you overbuff, if something's happened and you ever overbuff the pigment, this is how you would fix it. <laughs> And the butterflies are nice and pretty. I actually love the butterflies and I love the flower one. Uh, let me put the butterflies in the middle because they are the prettiest. The butterflies are the prettiest. Look at those butterflies, guys. So nice. Okay. So the one which we have broken and then we have fixed it, we can reapply the top coat. I think it is me sometimes rushing the things. Okay, check how it reflects the light and then give it a cook. And the flower one is ready. I love the flower one too. So we will make it uh, as colorful as we did the butterfly. <laughs> dropping my tools okay let's start with the yellow and then straight away going into this one I actually love this one as well. Green. So fading all the leaves green. Clean it well. You can even remove a tiny excess, but you have to be very careful so you don't remove the inhibition layer because okay, then the pigments wouldn't stick in. Then some orange. Pink. And then the purple. Okay, this one is completely finished. Remove the excess of the pigment really well. And then apply the top coat. Okay. 
so nice. Cure it. And then here I want to also squeeze some blue. So clean it well and dip and into blue. With the blue I'm going very carefully because it's a very strong color. And then remove the excess of the pigment. And apply the top coat. Definitely awesome for the summer, for a spring, even for a winter, like uh, depending of of the client needs, really. Uh, let me show you the entire look which we have created today. Okay, this one is ready. That's better now. And it's going to go in here. So we've got three. Then the flower one. No, flower was last. This one was ready first. That's actually really pretty as well, like, and very easy to do it. And then the flower one. Yeah, we have actually cre created a decent collection of five designs. And I hope, guys, you have really enjoyed learning this technique as well. If you did, hit the share button. Or you can also do it uh, like a tag on the Pinterest as well. Now I show you from different angles. It looks absolutely awesome. I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.